Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some exciting news coming from the folks at Decentraland as they have actually joined the Blender Development Fund. And guess what? They're joining the Blender Development Fund as Patreon members. And that is cool. But yes, I do know lots of you guys would have mixed reactions about this because there have just been a couple of controversies about NFTs or not to NFT, cryptocurrencies or not to cryptocurrency, the energy, solar thing. And yeah, I understand. And, you know, it is what it is right now. The folks at Decentraland are now part of the Blender Development Fund and they are here as Patreon members. Now, this is alongside Facebook, Amazon, Nvidia, Unity, Epic Games, and also AMD. Now, we've seen a couple of other people join the Development Fund, like Relution, Giants, you know, Cube, CG Cookie, all of these guys. But Decentraland are joining these owing to the fact that they are seeing Blender as an open source and of course it will be a big player in the long run. Now Blender seems to have satisfied a whole lot of communities and it just simply makes sense to pay some sort of royalty to it and that is something the folks at Decentraland are doing. Now if you go over to the news section you see a funding Decentraland member saying that they are loving the idea as the fight for an open source metaverse will define the 2020s and Blender is one of the most important open source projects in the 3D creator ecosystem. A rising tide that lifts all boats and this makes sense. This development fund will definitely help the core development task and also several topics that have a wide endorsement in the contributor community of Blender.org. And for those who would like to see some of the things that all of these funds are going to be geared to for the proposal of the roadmap for 2022 and also 2023, you might want to come through and check these ones out and see some of the proposals that are right here. So we do have for AMD, you know, Cycles X project updates. We do have the announcements for Blender 3, the roadmap and all this. And all the funds that are coming in right now would be helping out within this time. And for those of you guys who have no idea who the folks at Decentraland are, Decentraland is a 3D virtual reality platform that consists of over 90,000 parcels of land and virtual estate in decentral lands are nfts which are being bought by a cryptocurrency known as mana and this is heavily based on the ethereum blockchain and if you want to check more about this you might want to go over to the page where you can read more about it and for those who would like to you know come through explore you want to create stuff you can do that if you would like to browse and see some digital assets that exist maybe you want to buy and sell lands estate avatars wearables and all that you can also do that by coming over here and then you can browse through a catalog of things so there's a there's a couple of things that you can check out you can also choose to build your own stuff and you might want to sign in sign into wallets you know work as a guest and that can bring you over to the builder section where you can start building things. Now, before we talk about the building stuff, let's simply take a look at what the folks at Decentraland are talking about. So if you go over to the announcement page, you will also see that the folks at Decentraland, they are excited, extremely excited to join this as this marks an exciting opportunity to support the infrastructure used by countless creatives to design and build their own additions to Decentraland's metaverse. And for sure, seeing the fact that Blender marks up the backbone of the real metaverse, the Decentraland's community is proud to pledge their support and it is awesome. Now they are the very first crypto native project to ever sponsor a 3D platform and I think that counts for something. So for those who would like to read more about this or maybe you would like to read that of the Blender Foundation, you might want to go over to the link in the description that can bring you right here. Now let's get back and talk about how you can build stuff. Now if you're in the central land and you would like to check out some of the things that are available, you can go over to the view more and within the view more you'll be able to see lands and some estates and you know properties that have been made. So for example, if you click on the wild wild west, it, this simply opens and you can go in and start you know, checking out some of the things that exist right here. So you can see what has been built and uh, this doesn't look bad. You know, it's uh, something that you can preview right here on your web browser. And if you like to build yours, you can also go over to the scene section. You can go for the land, you can go to the names, collectibles. But if we go over to the scene section, you can click on the plus sign, add a brand new scene name, a description, click on next. And then you can define the size of the canvas or the scene you want to work on. So in this case, we're just going to keep this as two by two and then click on create. Now, once you do that, it makes sense to also see that you have a truckload of assets that you can use 
to load things in. You can also click on the plus sign to bring in a brand new asset pack. But in this case, let's just go ahead and play with the Genesis City and see what we have here. So we have a couple of uh, assets that we can throw in. So in this case, I can drag and drop and that exists right there. And something else that makes a lot of sense with this is it's more of a platform that you can use to create things. So like in this case, I just duplicated that item and I can move it to a different position like so. And maybe I can bring that down here. And in this case, I can also choose to scale this if I want. So I can click and scale it all the way up or all the way down. So depending on what you want to do, and you can also choose to rotate it. So you can also find that they have a couple of uh, shot keys and uh, references. And depending on what you want to make, you can just simply click drag and drop, click drag and drop. And in this case, you have started making stuff. So there is just a couple of nice and uh, lovely nifty things that you can pick up from here. You're looking for cyberpunk stuff. They have a couple of them. All right. So you can pick them, create your own world. And at the end of the day, you can hit the download button and download this and uh, start working with it. Now, it's also worth knowing that once you're downloading this, you can export your scene for use in the decentralized SDK or the builder. And for sure, this is a good way for you to share, collaborate and do stuff. But one thing I've come to find out is once you open this up, you would actually be able to see this. Like if you just go in and in and in, you'll be able to open these and uh, you can see them as GLB. So just in case you're thinking about extracting them, you can see these things as GLB. And of course, you can use it. So I think it's also another great way for you to create stuff and it's just right there. So for those who are into creating stuff like this, or maybe you're into, you know, cryptocurrencies, you might want to come through and check it out if you want to start creating your own NFTs. And for sure, if you would like to read more about this and uh, maybe you would like to read more from the folks at Blender Foundation, link to this is going to be in the description so you can do well to check it out. And that's about it. The folks at Decentraland are now part of the Blender patrons and they are going to be here for two years and they would help with the brand new project and also existing projects from the folks at Blender. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and until I see you guys in the next one, peace.